Hey, I'm Nick Williams with Medicare Millionaire. In this video, I'm going to talk about data, how to select data to determine which products you can sell or products you will likely sell. I'm going to use this in reference to direct mail and telemarketing. I'm going to also go into, I'm going to use the program Sales Data Pro for the for as an example and many of these systems are similar a lot of them it seems as though they're built out on the same platform so when i show you sales data pro it will help you with any uh data list that you should be using and again what's what's important is the data itself and not the platform now one thing we had a big problem with sales data pro because people were going in here and they were using aged internet leads which you can see here well you might be able to see on the screen here you don't want to use age internet leads. You want to go into consumer data. And I'm going to show you the income levels. And when you choose certain income levels, what products you'll end, end up selling. So first, we of course, we're going to use name, phone number. We don't need head of household. We, need their, uh, we do need the uh, birth month and birth year. And we do need to exclude mobile numbers. You always need to exclude mobile numbers. Now I'm going to go down to, of course, we got to have pick a location. I'm just going to choose Greenville, South Carolina as a, as a location. You can narrow it down to zip codes. So, and I'm going to explain this in income wise, but there may be areas that are all gated communities. You don't want to choose. If you can go by zip code and exclude those zip codes, you're going to be better served. And that, that may in fact be a good thing for you to do. So you can manipulate the data within one county again by manipulating the zip codes it's hard to do a lot of times because like in this area in greenville there might be one particular zip code uh, one that i know of that has it's very high end but then again it has a, a portion of it that is very marketable so i wouldn't exclude that and oftentimes the very high end is not going to respond to any type of direct mail anyhow so then i'm going to go to birthday now in this example here, I use, I'm use i using the example, and you can see it on your screen, how to select turning 65s. So if you want to direct mail turning 65s or telemarket turning 65s, I would use the year of 1955, and I would choose the months of August, September, and October. Now, you can go further out, and many people do, but if I'm calling on them right now, I want to make a sale right now, I don't necessarily want to hit the people that are six months out. Now, there would, there's the argument that you need to hit the people six months out because uh, somebody else, if you don't get them first, somebody else will. And there's some truth to that. But especially if I'm telemarketing and I'm going to show up at their house and I'll door knock these, I'll actually go out and door knock these people and say, hey, listen, I got you on my list that you're turning 65. I'm the local Medicare expert. I just want to introduce myself to you. I know more than one person. I just talked to a guy in Louisiana, uh, beginning of the week, who built his, this is what he does. I have a couple, a married couple in Oklahoma City. They built their business utilizing turning 65 door knocks. So that's viable. But I'm just giving you an example of the data here. So I would, and you could go out six months. And if you were to do so, you would just add October, oh, November, and December and move those over. Well, it, did, it didn't move November over, but I'll move it over here. And it, it, of course, you could add uh, J January of the following year. The That would enable you to go six months out and then you would just uh, pull your list based on that data now i'm going to keep going down I, i'm not going to discriminate based on gender although there are some reasons that you might want to approach females who might be home during the day at certain age groups and certain market areas rather than the men so and i don't do homeowner but you could fine tune your list if you wanted a more uh, a more affluent person in general, if you take renters out of the equation, you're going to get a more upscale clientele. You're going to get fewer leads. So you always have to factor that in. You could do the same for home purchase price uh, and home value. But we, but I don't do those because I, I, I need to get data. I need a lot of data. So, But now what you see here on the screen now is income. And this is a big deal. So what you what I've done here is 
and I'll move all this data back. What I've done, what I've done here is if I want to get Medicare supplements, I simply raise my income. So I'll go to 35,000 and maybe to 150,000. You can go higher if you want, but again, you get too high and people just don't respond. You do get, uh, I mean, you get lucky sometimes and then you end up selling annuities or whatever. But if you go too high on income, it's just like going into a, a very affluent area. You know, it's, uh, it becomes harder to get a response and then you're sending, you're making more contacts with a lesser return, which has cost you money. So now by doing this, as you see here, the data I have is 35,000, 150,000. I'm going to end up with more Medicare supplements just because of the income level. If I were to take this data back, if I were to move this over and having the same mail piece about Medicare, just Medicare in general, and I were to go under 10,000 to let's say 25,000 and move that over and order that list, well, I'm gonna buy, by default, I'm going to get Medicare Advantage people. Uh, it, it, that's, that is the end result. So now the lower I go in income, the more dual, dual people that I will have, more Medicare, Medicaid uh, clients that I'll have. And that's good for year round sell, sales. And that would be more for direct mail. The, um, and, but also the lower income is going to get me LIS, which is extra help. Uh, and uh, probably more people that have chronic illnesses because they're lesser income because they don't take care of themselves as well. So it's just a fact of life there. So that's how I work the income. The higher the income, you can have the exact same piece and you may not want to use the same piece on say direct mail or you can have the exact same script on the phone. But you again, you may not want the same exact same script, but that will determine the product that you sell, the income versus anything else. Now they have your net worth. You can put that in there. I don't because again, I need data. I need more people to uh, send my mail to. Ethnicity is a no-no from my perspective because by just by clicking uh, a group, you are discriminating against others. And that's just a sensitive topic and I stay away from it. So the point of this exercise is to show you that that by choosing by the income that you choose will determine the products that you sell. And this is it's elementary, but a lot of people don't think this through. But I want you to understand this. I want you to know so that when you're marketing that and you can go by geographic area. So you can just pick an area and geographically that you know may be ideal. Maybe it's an area that you're very familiar with and you can market that area based on your uh, level of comfort with the demographics of that area. And that would be perfectly fine. So again, there you go. Income, uh, income is the big determining factor. Area can be a determining factor. I'm not going to use homeowner. I'm not going to use purchase price of home. I'm not going to use net value. Uh, gender can be, gender, again, sometimes I'll market more to women because, again, in certain areas, uh, and I don't do this very often, but women are more likely to be home in the daytime. So that might make sense. And, uh, of course, birthday, I can toggle through uh, for turning 65s. And I'll go back there real quick. If I want to go, okay, so that's turning 65s and that is is what I've showed you here, 1955, and you choose the number of months out that you want to go. Or I can go, and I'll move this 1955 over back, back to the other column, and I'll go uh, 1954 back to 1944. So 19, okay, let me scroll down here a little ways. 1954 back to 1944. I'll move that over in the column of the the filter that I want, and I won't worry so much about the number of months. I'll move those back, and uh, and then I'll I'll get my record count. So that's uh, 
that's it. Income, uh, location, and uh, those are the primary. Those are primary. Of course, we do want the information to download. We need the name. Oh, we need the address, of course, and we need the phone number. So, and we do need to make sure we exclude mobile numbers. So there you go. I'm going to leave you guys with that and just want to help you out with the uh, parameters or demographics you want to use for ordering your list.